Welcome back. Well, Fayette Mall wants to see your little ones dressed up for Halloween because they've teamed up with Lexington Police Department and the Parks Department to pass out candy. Sarah Enloe is here with more. Good to see you, Sarah. Good to see you, Lee. Love your bats. We're ready yeah. for the Halloween at the mall. Malloween. You guys really go all out. Somebody texted me a photo of some stock room you guys had, a pallets of candy. Lots and lots of candy. A little sneak peek of all the candy that we have at the mall for trick-or-treat tomorrow night from uh -huh. 6 to 8 p.m. Inviting all the kids to come out and invite them to dress up and families too. Look here, this is what I'm talking about right there. That's that photo. <laughs> that is just like, the, that's a lot of it, but there's still some to the side you can't even see there. Lots and lots of candy. So how does this work, Sarah? I bring my kid and where do we start? Well, you can start anywhere in the mall. We're going to have stations set up through every corridor of the mall. So you could start near guest services. You could start at the food court. You could start on the south side of the mall near Dillard's. Mm -hmm. And we'll have tables throughout the entire mall. You can just go around and each kid will be able to stop at every station and in the middle wing near Vera Bradley we're going to have a table set up doing face tattoos oh. just like little glittery tattoos and Halloween tattoos for the kids to stop by and do that too. Any uh, restrictions or guidelines for costumes this year? Well we just prefer that adults do not wear face like full face masks. Oh, so adults can dress up. You can dress up. Just yes. don't cover your face. Don't cover your face but the kids are welcome to come dressed up however you want right. and then we're going to have a Halloween photo booth set up near guest services and have your picture made we'll post it on our Facebook page and then you can you know have a little memento you've done this in the past I mean is it a real tremendous increase in volume as far as participation at the mall when you see when you guys do this trick-or-treat because I know a lot of people go there it's very popular it's a very busy yeah. event but it's a good event and we enjoy being able to provide well, nobody this. said it wasn't yeah no I know it's yeah. wonderful for the kids to be able to come out it's a safe warm bright environment for the kids to come and do trick-or-treat with sure. us we were more than happy to be able to do this this year a few days before Halloween try to avoid the Breeders Cup busy weekend we partnered with Lexington Parks and Recreation oh, and good. the Police Department yeah. So we have lots of people out there to volunteer and help hand out candy so that it'll be a really fun event and a safe, warm place, especially if the weather is a little spooky this weekend. It, Give kids an opportunity to Is there a monitor or anyone checking to see how many times I go by the stations? If you change costumes, we may you may get by, but I, no So promises. somebody is watching to see <laughs> to make sure I don't just keep circling around, loading up bucket after bucket. Yeah, okay. I'll recognize you. All right, well, good. Well, here's the thing. Trick or treat at the Fayette Mall will be held this Thursday, so tomorrow night, October 29th, from 6 to 8. And for more information, you can log on to shopfayette-mall.com. Great to see you, Sarah. Thanks, Thank Lee. You. Thank you for the candy. She You're welcome. Me. You can wear this these headbands. Is, this is my bag. Put that on Here, my head. Here, you have some headbands. You can Thank wear these you. and switch these All out. Right. Trick or treat. I'm going to take this home. Tom <laughs> is standing by. He's checking on our uh, forecast over at the LEX 18 Storm Tracker Center. Weather Center. It's a good look for you, Lee. Uh, i got some rain coming down to Lexington. Look at the live weather camera.